uh, quick uh, PSA or some sorts. Uh, this is the GA G41 MT ES2L. So this is the DDR3 version of the G41M ES2L. So this has DDR3 and this configuration is a little different, but I could just, if you want to run, if you want to run free firmware without blobs, such as core boot or its forks, that works perfectly fine. I, for the purposes, I, uh, I flashed um, canoe boot and it just worked. I haven't tested much. I have tested uh, video and I have tested this and the well the RAM works. What you have to consider with these G41 boards is the RAM. You can't have DDR3 4GB modules as these. These won't work. You need to have um, 256 MB uh, memory chips. The 512 MB memory chips, and they, they also say that on the Corbett Wiki, they won't work, they won't boot. So you need to have 16 chips on them on both sides. So those will actually work. I think that's a hardware chipset limitation. Um, these also don't take 8 gigabyte um, modules. I haven't tested it, but that's also a, a chipset limitation of the G41. Um, um, Z, uh, yeah. So this is a nice board if you want to have 8 gigabytes of RAM. It's better than the the non um, the, the non T version the DDR2 version that is officially supported um, because, well, it's impossible to get DDR2 for gigabyte modules at a decent price. So this is quite nifty because it's affordable. You can find it for cheap in a lot of places. And oh, if you want to have... Uh, sorry. If you want to have... Um, ah, yes, if you want to have a board with free firmware, then without blobs, this is a good board because it's affordable and you can put in yeah, Xeon CPUs, I tried that, not with a, with a T version, but with a normal M version with this board, I tested that, I used the Xeon E4550. That worked perfectly well with a stock firmware, nothing had to be changed. Uh, with stock, I mean a Libre Boot, uh, that I actually used Libre Boot mm, in older version. Yeah, that worked. So, this is a nice alternative to this board. This is obviously a better board. It also has DDR3, it's a G45T, G43T AM3. This has four slots, so you can put in four of those DIMMs. Again, these won't work. I put them here for demonstration purposes to show you what will not work. I tried these, they won't work. That's a chipset limitation. They also say that on the Corbett Wiki, so don't buy them for, vi for this purpose. And yes, this obviously is nicer. It can use 16 gigabytes of RAM, but obviously the drawback is this is much a much rarer board. So you can have a hard time, harder time find, uh, um, finding it. Um, this is easier to find. I think also cheaper. I got a good deal for this one. I have got it for like 20 euros uh, with shipping. So I got it for a good deal. I, I, and I actually got a uh, RAM with it, but I got this RAM with it and it didn't work. <laughs> I bought it as untested, so. Um, I think it also had a bend pin. I repaired that, yes. But yeah, I wasted enough of your time already. And I think that concludes that. Concludes that, yes. Thank you.